Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about the idea of bussing in Soundtrap. Now bussing or using an aux track is something that you're probably really familiar with if you've used Logic or maybe Ableton or Pro Tools or something like that, but not maybe something you're really familiar with if you've used uh, Soundtrap. So Soundtrap doesn't actually have a busing or aux track function, but I'm going to show you how we can get around that using Soundtrap. So uh, what I've got here is a vocal chain that we made in a previous video, and I've got a filter and an EQ and a dynamic compressor set. So I've got my vocal pretty much ready to go as far as the effects would be, except there's no saturation or reverb. So this is what it sounds like to begin with. I keep on selling myself now I'm wearing your sweater now we could just add reverb in right here but I don't think that's the ideal choice because it begins to deteriorate the original sound just a little bit in my opinion so what are we going to do well the first step is to click these little three dots right here in the track head and we're going to duplicate that track so it just makes an exact copy so now what we're looking at is an exact copy with the exact same parameters on it. So now we can go in and use our room function here. And uh, since it's vocals, I'm going to go ahead and add just a pretty good amount of medium plate. More than I even think should really be there. I know I won't be a good ghost. Yeah, that's a little too much. But what we now do is blend in that sound here. So normally you would have a, a knob on a bus track that would allow you to send a particular amount of sound to uh, the bus track, but now we're just gonna blend that in using this. Now that may still sound like too much to you right now in this soloed form. Remember, you should always do your mixing as you're listening to the entire track. So, um, that's actually probably pretty good for uh, what it would be if we had drums and everything in. So um, that I would go back and label as the Vox verb, Vox reverb, um, just so you're clear on what it is. Vox stands for vocal in the in the industry so uh what else might you want well there's one other thing and we're going to duplicate the original not the reverbed but the original and uh we're going to call this one vox saturation now a lot of times in projects that you put a vocal track on you use what's called a saturator and we don't have a saturator effect here, but what we do have is this distortion effect. So we're gonna use this classic distortion, turn the tone all the way up so it's not filtering out any frequencies necessarily, and uh, turn the distortion down. Now, if I solo that, this is not the sound you would want for your vocal. I keep on telling myself that if I try harder, Maybe you won't even tell that much. Yeah, not exactly the sound that you would go for because it really takes away from the clarity of the vocal. So uh, we're actually going to take this sound now and do the same thing we did with the verb and just blend it in. Jaw is now sharper. I'm getting thinner and thinner. Yeah, pretty and lean. I'm getting slimmer and slimmer. Yeah, I'm coming out clean. I'm coming out clean. Better. I keep on selling myself. Now I'm wearing your sweater. I know. So, in the end, there, we've come up with a vocal that is very um, punk rock sounding because it's got that thick lushness it got the reverb and everything and we all did it by duplicating the original vocal part uh using these three dots and the duplicate track feature now you can certainly get in and add different panning and all sorts of different stuff to even create a thicker wider sound but um that would be some basic bussing 
emulating the idea of busing uh, using Soundtrap. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, feel free to like or subscribe down below.